we need to find a way to move people between the contacted and uncontacted tabs. And the easiest thing to do is to add a context menu to the VStack and Prospects view. This will allow users to long press on any person in the list, then tap a single option to move them between the tabs. Now remember that this view is shared in three places, so we have to make sure this context menu looks correct no matter where it's used. The easy option is to use a ternary operator when setting the button's title. And so we can append a context menu like this one to the VStack. Dot context menu, button, prospect dot is contacted. If it's true, mark uncontacted, otherwise mark contacted. Inside there we'll do prospect dot is contacted dot toggle. While text for that is okay, and the context menu displays correctly, the action doesn't do anything. Well, that's not strictly true. It does toggle the Boolean, but it doesn't actually update the UI. This problem occurs because the people array in prospect is marked with at published, which means if we add or remove items from that array, a change notification will be sent out. However, if we quietly change an item inside the array, then SwiftUI won't detect that change, and no views will be refreshed. To fix this, we have to tell SwiftUI by hand that something important has changed. So rather than flipping a Boolean in Prospects view, we are instead going to call a method on the Prospects class to flip that same Boolean, while also sending a change message out. So start by adding this method to the Prospects class. Funk toggle, underscore prospect is a prospect, object will change dot send, and prospect dot is contacted dot toggle. Now remember, you should call object will change dot send before changing a property to ensure SwiftUI gets its animations correct. Now you can replace the toggle action with this, self dot prospects dot toggle prospect. If you run the app now, you'll see it works much better. Scan a user, then bring up the context menu and tap its action to see the user move between the contacted and uncontacted tabs. We could leave it there, but there's one more change I want to make. As you saw, changing is contacted directly causes problems, because although the booleans change internally, our UI has become stale. If we leave our code as is, it's possible we, or other developers, might forget about this problem and try to flip the boolean directly from elsewhere, which will just cause more bugs. SwiftUI can help us mitigate this problem by stopping us modifying the boolean outside of prospects.swift. There's a special access control option called file private, which means this property can only be used by code inside the current file. Of course, we still want to read that property, and so we can deploy another useful feature, file private set, which means this property can be read from anywhere, but only written from the current file. The exact combination we need to make sure the Boolean is safe to use. So modify the is contacted Boolean in prospect to this. File private set. It hasn't affected our project here, but it does help keep us safe in the future. If you were wondering why we put the prospect and prospects classes in the same file, now you know.